This content is brought to you in association with my buddies over at Jam Jam Cards UK. You can find the links to the eBay store and the Facebook page in the description. Hi guys, it's Joe here from Rufio. Welcome to the channel. If this is your first time here, welcome aboard. You should definitely hit subscribe and the notification bell before we go any further. And in particular, before you realise how fucking garbage this content is. But if this is not your first time on the channel, welcome back. On today's video, we are celebrating being on day something of no earlier than a few months from now. That's right, we don't actually have a kind of set idea of when the list's coming in, but if we guess on previous cycles, it's around the three-month mark we start to get something. And if Konami are paying attention to what is going on out there in the competitive game at the moment, it is getting a little bit stale. Now, I can't speak for everywhere. I'm sure it's different all across the place. However, for us in particular, I've noticed that my locals are attendance is basically halved in the last month or so. And that's not because people don't want to play the game, it's because they're bored of the format. Turns out having the same engine in every single deck is kind of boring. So hopefully with that in mind, it won't be long before we actually see our list. But until then, here's what I'd like to see. Though this isn't actually a prediction video, I never really do those because, well, it's a load of fucking nonsense. I'm not going to try and sell you any snake oil around here. I'm not going to predict a damn thing. What I'm going to do, though, is tell you exactly what I would like. That's right, pure, pure bias. It's all about me what I want, what I think is correct, and I don't really care about anyone else's opinion on it. That's right, all this it is the ban list wish list. Now, before we do get into the video, I do want to say if you're looking to pick up some Yu-Gi-Oh! singles ready for this format whenever it comes, or maybe you just need some cards for your new deck, check out the channel sponsors, Jam Jam Cards UK. Link in the description. Use the code RUFIO15 for 15% off your eBay order. Not only will you be supporting the channel, but you'll also be saving yourself some money in the process. That's a win-win situation, if you ask me. But anyway, enough waffling on from me. Let's get stuck into the absolute fucking nonsense. So there are kind of like maybe four decks, engines, or something that I think really need to be addressed. Adventurer, Pranks, Flunder, and Eldlich. That's right, Eldlich. I know it's kind of doing really nothing at the moment, except the YCS finals. But you can almost guarantee that if we hit other decks, Eldritch will just take their place. Now we're going to do this video in two parts. We're going to have their hits part. And we're going to have the parts where we just let people off their leash a little bit. So starting off with our hits. Firstly, the ban section. I would love for us to ban Halka Fibrax. I think that we can agree that this card has well overstayed its welcome. It becomes part of every single kind of degenerate generic combo that goes into every single deck and another, it's another one of those staple things that pretty much every top deck plays it's the same as the adventurer engine all those kind of things so i think for that reason it needs to go and honestly i think the game will be a better one for it this card should have been hit long and long ago but they haven't so now's the time following on from that we have the big green anaconda this is another card that, in my opinion, has overstayed its welcome. It's a bit of a shame because I actually really like the card in general. I think it really offers something quite cool to any fusion-based decks. The problem is that fusion spells are getting increasingly insane. Honestly, have you read Branded Fusion? This card's kind of dumb. And they're only going to keep releasing these fusion cards that fuse from the deck. And as long as they do, Verte is going to be a problem. We need to address it. We need to get rid of that card. It also takes care of the other kind of problematic fusion cards if people are worried about dpe people are worried about dragoon creeping back into the format it means that these have to be hard drawn fusion cards which means you probably need to intend to play them a little bit more rather than just be able to splash the engine into your deck and of course we all know being able to access the main deck from the extra deck is always absolutely ridiculous but even more ridiculous when that turns into a foolish burial that allows you to draw two cards seriously there's no need after that, we have the Brave Chicken. I can't even remember what it's called. Griffin, something like that. That fucking card. Do one. Bullshit. This card doesn't need to be in the game anymore. It's just a free, ridiculous negate. It becomes a massive beat stick. You, you can control more than one of them, which is just ridiculous. Now, honestly, this card is just ridiculously strong. The engine already still goes mega plus without it. So it really just doesn't need that free negate as well. And on top of that, we do have new cards coming out for the Adventurer engine. So I can't think of a better way to hit it than to stop them getting those ridiculous free negates. The fact that the summon is a quick effect as well is just absurd. The card just needed three less effects than it's got and it'd be fine. Seriously, though, take care of the chicken. I don't want it anymore. 
Now there are some arguments about other parts of the engine you could hit instead. Maybe the uh, Draco back or whatever the hell it's called, the equip spell. I guess you can make that argument, but honestly, it's just not as ridiculous as the chicken. And if you hit anything else, it's just like a consistency hit, which, you know, there's some arguments for that, but it's probably a bit too early for them to hit those really, really strong parts of it. Uh, you know, the parts that are going to sell and the expensive cards and all of that nonsense. So honestly, I just couldn't see it happening. After that, we have Artifact Scythe. Anyone who tells you Dagger is the problem is an idiot. If there is anybody out there that thinks someone summoning Maraltak or Lancia during your turn is a big problem, they need to give their head a wobble. Seriously, Dagda without Scythe is really not a big problem. I did the maths and it becomes something like a 47% chance, even without the Dagda, that you can still get to Scythe if you really want to see it, which means you're going to see it basically every other duel, which means you're going to see it twice a match, which means your opponent skips their turn twice a match. You already know how this works out. So honestly, Scythe is just a problematic card. I think any kind of floodgate that just lingers, blanket stops something from happening, is not a particularly good one from the game. And in particular, one that is so easily chewed out. And even if they hit Dagda, people will just find other ways to dump it into the grave and summon it back. Honestly, the card is ridiculous. I can recall a couple of years back even playing like Gravekeepers at Locals and winning purely because Scythe is a card. Honestly, the card is fucking cracked. It's bullshit. It doesn't need to be in the game anymore. Has no place in the modern game. Get rid of Scythe. After that, we have Anti-Spell Fragrance. It's basically just Imperial Order. The card doesn't need to be anywhere near the game. I've been through all of this before. It's just pseudo-Imperial Order. Skipping your opponent ba being able to use spells for two turns, essentially, is pretty ridiculous. After that, I've got some Hits for Flunder lined up. We've got Wind Barrier Statue. I think, again, these cards are just toxic. Any of those Barrier Statues are never, ever played in any kind of fair or reasonable strategy. It's always something bullshit because they are just inherently bullshit cards. They effectively do skip your opponent's turn because your opponent has to normal something and something because normally it's going to be lined up with an Emperor and other stuff and try to hit over the statue to go into main phase two to actually start their turn, at which point they've got to deal with everything else you've got there. And then at that point, it's just ridiculous. So normally you've been fucking shifted at this point too. And on that note, I haven't actually said shifter to be hit here, although you could make the argument for that. I have, however, gone for Mega Riser. That's right, Mega Riser allows this card to be looped. It's also about a thousand years old. So honestly, see a Mega Riser get hit, I just wouldn't care. And I think it could go. And then you'd still have Flunders being able to play Shifter and all of the annoying birds. Seriously, though, the sooner that deck is no longer playable and no longer in the format, the sooner I will be a happy man. Any deck that's obnoxious enough to decide to play some communism games by playing our turn doesn't need to be in the game. After that, my final hit on this list is Eschatos. It's not a particularly problematic card at this point in time. However, it is a matter of time, I'm convinced, before this card becomes absolute bullshit again. And by bullshit again, I mean for the first time. But you get the point. Protoss' ugly brother doesn't need to be in the game. Okay, now onto our limits here. So this is mostly hitting Prankids, actually. The first of these is doodle -doo 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 -doo. the fucking chicken thing. That needs to go. Another goddamn chicken. It's obviously the chickens that ruin the game. We can limit it. Honestly, I just think we need to hit the deck a little bit, and I don't really know the best way to do that. The deck is so ridiculously consistent and needs such little to keep going that really we can just only make consistency hits. Now, there is some argument you could make that if the adventure package is getting hit and if Predator Plan's getting hit, that maybe the hits on Prankids themselves are necessary, but this is my wish list, and I just hate Prankids at this point. So... Take care of Doodle Doo, problem solved. And you can also take place with you and make them both limited. I think both at one would just be that nice little touch just to make sure that they're not too consistent. Just touch it a little bit. I mean, or we could just like ban it all. I don't mind either way, but I'm trying to be nice out here. Following on from that, we have an Eldritch hit in Scarlet Sanguine. You know the one, the dumb trap card. Yeah, we need to just hit it. We need to just do some sort of touches. I don't really know what else to hit. It's kind of an awkward one to hit, actually, when you look at what the cards do. Uh, so I think we need to address it in some way, just to make it a little bit less consistent, given the fact that it would probably start to take over or certainly see a much higher representation if we start hitting the other big decks in the format. Now that is it for our actual hits. I tried not to be too ridiculous. There's so many cards I would just bang, so I don't like them. But really, I tried to keep it a little bit more fair, let's say, because, you know, whatever. But now we move on to the fun part, the stuff I want to see come off the list or released in some way. So get ready, people. The first of my limits, Masterpiece. That's right, I'm sure many of you will have felt your balls shoot up into your body at this moment. Maybe you felt your arsehole twitch a little bit. But honestly, Masterpiece really isn't that bad. 
Okay, yeah, maybe it's a kind of strong card, but no one's going to play True Draco anyway. Nobody's playing it now, and the only difference is Masterpiece, it really won't matter. You might get a little surge of people going, woo, I can play this kind of semi-towers popper thing guy, but really only bad players are going to play the deck. Now, you could, I guess, make some arguments that maybe if we hit Skill Drain again so that we don't just get Floodgate Central deck come back. Maybe there's some argument for that. But honestly, I think Masterpiece in and of itself isn't that terrifying, and I do feel like in a lot of ways the game has moved on from that card. As such, I think that most decks have inbuilt ways or could quite easily incorporate ways that could deal with a beat stick like this being in the game again. And honestly, again, I don't think it would see that much representation and really wouldn't matter. With Diagram still at one, with Card of Demise still being hit, with all of those other cards being gone, this deck has taken an absolute battering and I don't think a single masterpiece is enough to save them. After that, we have all of the tuners. That's right, all those poor tuners that died for Halka Firebrax's sins. You're welcome to come back to the game. I'd love to see stuff like God Bulb in the game again. I absolutely love that card before I got hit. And we've already seen the Strudo come back and it's been no problem whatsoever, realistically. And Halka is still in the game. So once Halka is gone, honestly, these cards can come back with no real issue. Following on from that, we've got two cult classic cards here. We've got... August Heart Horror, I think it can go back to one and it won't break the game whatsoever. I do think we'll see a lot of people trying it out. Of course we will. The engine is really, really cool. Certainly as an engine. But honestly, I think it'd be fine at one. Especially considering we've taken care of the two main kind of link to climb monsters. This is the problem we had with Orcus before, remember, where everyone could just link into Mermaid or link into any two monsters was combo. Well, we don't really have those cards for that. Maybe there are one or two crap ones, but honestly not worth playing i think the engine would see play though and it would be a really cool thing to see it back in the format and the second of these cult cards that i'd like to see come back is colossus 2 1 the card is actually kind of busted and still really is the only concern i have of course is that it becomes splashable again maybe you need to take care of that nemesis card the one that lets you get it for free and maybe that helps the issue here but honestly i think the card would be fine at one as long as something like that is taken care of so nobody's just splashing it for free after that, we have Yata Garasu because this card is literally going to do nothing in the modern game. If your opponent's got so much advantage that they've cleared you out and then they've normal summoned, normal summoned their Yata to attack you, then they probably deserve the win anyway. Electromite. It's fine. Bring it back. Literally is going to do nothing. Honestly, the card at one will be absolutely fine. In multiples, of course, it's problematic, but I think we should throw pendulum players a bit of a bone. So honestly, I think Electromite to 1 would be not a problem at all. The final of my limits here, and this is just playing it safe a little bit, but really, this card could probably go to 3 as well, Trap Dust You. Honestly, a point of the Red Lotus is a stronger card. I think Trap Dust You would be absolutely fine back in the game. It's probably a little bit too slow. Probably really wouldn't see that much play now. Maybe in sideboards at a push, but honestly, I just don't see it. Semi-limits. For no apparent reason, I've decided Terratop can come back to 2. I don't think it would actually do anything, so... Yeah, put it at two. It'd be great to be able to play it again. The second and only other of our semi-limits that I've got here is Light Stage. I think Light Stage should come back to do, make Trick Stars somewhat playable, but not really relevant. Probably just a okay rogue pick for the format. Honestly, I think it would be absolutely fine. I really like this field spell. Now onto our unlimbs, and these are mostly just selfish. The first of these is Sekka's Light. I really want this card back in the game. I would love to see it at three. I thought it was really fun playing those three spell card just... Absolutely nuts monster mash decks. They were really, really fun. I thought they were a really creative approach to the game. And if we're taking care of a lot of these other dumb combo pieces and things like that, it would just be nice to see it in there and available. After that, we have Pot of Desires. This card should never have been put to one, in my opinion. Put it back to three. The card is absolutely fine. And then the final card I'm calling for here is Call by the Grave to three. I think, honestly, it can come back. It'll cause no issues whatsoever. I really like the card, and I think it's better at three than it is at one. It's kind of sacky at the moment, like... A lot of the time, you, you can't really play for it. You can't plan for it. And then when it hits you, it could just end the turn. It could just really kill an entire combo off. Whereas if it's at three, you can make some concessions and play around it a little bit. Also, the fact that hand traps are absolutely everywhere. So having another way to deal with them that isn't cross out designator would be a really cool option as well. But that is all for today's ban list, wish list. Thank you very much for joining us. And thank you very much for making it this far into the video. You're one of the few who does. And by virtue of the fact that you made it this far, hopefully you have enjoyed it enough to have hit subscribe, or at least hated it enough that you couldn't possibly look away. I'd love to hear in the comments what your thoughts are on my thoughts, or maybe I don't really care, this is my wish list after all. Although I would love to hear what you'd like to see back on the list, what you'd like to see off the list, all of those things going on, what decks you'd like to see hit. Maybe you think there's some better hits than what I've come up with for those decks. I'd love to hear those as well down in the comments.
Once again, thank you very much for coming along. Hopefully you really have hit subscribe and maybe even the notification bell as well. And I will see you in the next one.